What's going on YouTube, Geosnoid here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Dr. Phone Screen Unlock in order to repair a device for which you no longer remember the passcode or that you bought second hand and it has a passcode on it that the seller forgot to remove. The program is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it supports a lot of features including to unlock the Face ID, Touch ID, Apple ID and Screen Time passcode. You can use this program on iOS 15, 16 and even iOS 14, 13 and older versions. It would work fine. So let's definitely check the program out. Once you have the program it looks like this. It has multiple features but you're interested in screen unlock. So I'm gonna open the program now and here inside the screen unlock we have a couple of options for example unlock Android screen or FRP or unlock iOS screen. This one is the one that you need for MDM, Apple ID, activation lock, SIM lock and stuff like that you have all the options here but unlock iOS screen is what we need. So a device that is locked would look like this. When you try to open it it shows the passcode screen and no matter what you try it it of course will not work and if you try enough passcodes that do not match it will eventually lock completely and you will not be able to use the device again. Now there might be many reasons why you need to unlock the iOS screen. For example your kid might have set a passcode by mistake or you might have set one by mistake or you set a new one and you no longer remember it and stuff like that. But there is also the case where you buy a second hand device and the device comes locked because either the seller forgot to remove the passcode or they did not want to remove the passcode so that they can scam you out of extra money to give you the passcode. Those occurrences are unfortunately pretty common on eBay and such, so let's see what we can do. With the device connected we have remove iOS screen lock over here, we press start and now we are instructed to select our device from here, for example iPhone 8 and above, iPhone 7 and 7 plus and whatever. So I'm gonna go here to iPhone and select iPod because my device is iPod touch 7 generation. It's best to select your particular device range because this will give you the instructions to put the device in DFU mode. So after that you just have to follow the instructions here on the screen to put the device in DFU mode or recovery mode. Alright so as you can see after that the device gets automatically detected. It says in here device model iPod touch 7 generation and system version iOS 15.7.2 because that's the latest version available for my device. You should keep in mind that this program will update your device to the latest version so it's important to keep this in mind if you want to jailbreak and stuff like that. If you have a firmware already downloaded you can select it from here but I'm gonna press start and it will download the latest version of iOS automatically for my device because it has automatically detected what kind of device it is and what is the firmware that I need. So as you can see it's gonna take a while in here it's a pretty large package almost 5 gigs so I'm gonna be right back once this download completes. You don't have to do anything don't touch it just leave it download the file. Alright so the download process has completed and it says now verifying firmware package. This is to ensure that the download is not corrupted and we're not trying to restore a corrupted iOS firmware to the device because that would make things worse. So it's best to leave this program to do its job. The verification will not take very long and once it ensures that whatever it downloaded is correct for your device it will proceed to restore the firmware. So as you can see it says in here the firmware is ready to complete and I'm gonna press unlock now and this is where the fun begins. It says warning removing the lock screen will erase all the data on your device so anything that you do not have a backup for will be erased. If you don't have a backup for it in iCloud or for example on the computer this will be removed. And as you can see it says unlock now. Please ensure to keep the device connected and do not use it while it is connected to avoid it becoming bricked. So the estimated time for this is about 10 minutes. It will restore iOS from scratch. It will reinstall iOS. But it's important to note that this program will not remove iCloud. The screen unlock is only for removing the passcode, face ID, touch ID and stuff like that. If your device is bound to an iCloud account you will still be asked for that account in order to activate the device. So if you don't remember your Apple ID and password and find my iPhone was turned on you will still be locked out so make sure you do remember your Apple ID and password in case you need them. Dr. Phone does have an activation bypass option but that option only works on some devices especially on the older ones. Newer ones like iPhone 13, 12, 11, Dennis Max will not work for that. So I'm gonna be right back once this finishes over here because it's gonna take some time. Right now the device shows a progress bar and the Apple logo so I'm gonna have to let it complete. All right so as you can see now it says lock screen has been removed completely. Check whether the device has successfully removed the screen lock. And as you can see yes it has because the device has started. You can see here we are on the hello screen where we can select the language and stuff like that. I'm gonna press done in here and that's basically it. We can now set up the device normally. You can go here to select your country, you can select your language, Wi-Fi data and stuff like that. And as you can see we're now here on the data privacy 
I see I'm going to continue passcode option. We now have the option to create our own passcode. You can see that we can specify to not use a passcode or use a custom one. So the old passcode is no longer here. I'm going to say don't use passcode in here and don't use passcode again. And that's it. We can set up the device as new. So don't transfer any data. I'm going to say I don't have an Apple ID for the moment. Siri settings, screen time, and of course the analytics. And that's it. Welcome to iPod. We press start and that's it. We can now use the device normally without any problem. Everything seems to be working fine. And yes, we are running the latest version available. So yeah, if you go here to the software update, you can see 15.7.2. So that's basically it. That's how you do it. It works fine. And that's it. No more passcode on this device. So yeah, definitely nice. Check the program out in the link below, Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. The program is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it works for Face ID, Touch ID, 4-digit passcode, 6-digit passcode and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow and peace out.